Uh, Jabeur came to us from a zoo in France, and uh, before that he was born in a, in a German zoo. Um, but he came to us about three months now, and uh, as you can probably see, fully settled with our group of females. It's really important that Jabeur came to us because unfortunately, sort of just over a year ago, our male um, died, our previous male. Um, and it's really important to make sure that the, the captive breeding program continues at all times. So um, we looked at the European Endangered Species Program and we found Jabeur to be a suitable animal genetically. Um, and he came to us and he's already in fact started mating with our females and therefore continuing hopefully the very very important captive breeding program for the West Alone and Gorillas. Now when Yaboa was sort of scheduled to come here we, we got some large laminated photos of him and gave uh, those photos to the females and they had a sort of a good look. He's already started mating regularly two of the three females. It's just a matter of time till he mates the third. This is actually his job to make sure he's always mating and, and dominating effectively the females. But before Yaboa came here he was indeed living with, with one male in, in, in a French zoo, perfectly happy there, having a great time. But obviously, he'd yet to experience the uh, the, the, the kind of the fun of being with uh, three females, and uh, he had a lot to learn in his first sort of few months here, um, how to dominate a group of quite feisty females at times. And I think for a man just to adapt to one new girlfriend, but to, to take on three at the same time and three feisty ones at that is is, is quite a challenge. So um, I wouldn't want to do it, but uh, he's done it really, really well.